Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2018 and we are doing this problem number 13 of the section A. It's a problem of general aptitude. Let us have a look. Two persons A and B start walking in the opposite directions from a point. A travels twice as fast as B. The speed at which B travels is 1 km per hour. If A travels 2 km and turns back and start walking toward B, at what distance from the starting point will A cross B? So this is your problem. Now what I will do, I will try to represent everything in a diagram. All right. So whatever is given to you, I will try to draw everything in the diagram. So so let us say this is your road on which A and B are traveling and this is the starting point for both of them. So A travels in this direction and B travels in this direction. Now B travels at a speed of 1 km per hour. So a speed of B is 1 km per hour and speed of a is 2 km per hour all right now let us make blocks of uh, 1 km so this is let us say 1 km this is 2 km in the opposite direction let us say this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is uh, this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 this is 8 all right we will do everything in the graph so what is happening is this A is traveling in the opposite direction but after traveling 2 kilometers he will turn back and start walking in the same direction as that of B. So A travels in this direction like this but after reaching this point he comes back in the same path. Now velocity of B is 2 km per hour so after traveling 2 km he is coming back. So what will be the time he will be taking from going from here to here? It will be one hour because it is two kilometer distance and the velocity is also two kilometer per hour. So time taken from going from this position to this position will be one hour. Now coming back, it will be one more hour. So how much time will, will the person A takes from moving from O to this point and then coming to this point? It will be two hours. So two hours after traveling two hours he will be at this point all right now let us try to solve this problem by just using options what your problem is asking at what distance from the starting point will a cross b so we have to find out at what distance will a cross b let us begin with option number one option number one says at two kilometer a is going to cross B so distance they are measuring is from the starting point all right so after traveling 2 kilometer all right B is traveling 2 kilometer so after traveling 2 kilometer A is going to cross it how much time will B take in order to travel these 2 kilometers now see at initially T was 0 at this position at the beginning t was 0 a moves in this direction and then comes back so the time passed is now uh, time passed is now 2 hours so now after 2 hours a is at this location but where is b after 2 hours because velocity of b is 1 km per hour b will be somewhere here exactly at this point so at this time b is at 2 km and A is at this point. So at 2 km, your A is crossing B. No, he is not crossing B because B is at this point and A is that at this point after 2 km when B has traveled 2 km. So A cannot be your answer. It is incorrect. Now let us talk about fourth one. It says 4 km. Now let us talk. So 4 km. So that means when B will reach this point 4 km at this point your A is going to cross it. 
so how much time has passed to uh, to reach 4 km for b i am talking so b will reach 4 km in 2 hours so 2 hours he will take to cover this distance 2 hours has already passed all right so in 4 hours he is going to uh, reach this distance now at t1 is equal to 2 hours a is at this distance so in 2 hours he is going to cover how much distance this 2 hours he is going to cover 4 km why because it was your speed speed for the a is 2 km per hour so when b is here a was here after traveling 2 hours a will reach this position because it is at moving at 2 km per hour but b is moving at 1 km per hour so it will take it will he will move just two and you will move a will move 4 km so are you getting my point or not so after 4 hours a will be at this position and b will be at this position so at 4 km from the starting point a is going to cross b are you getting my point or not so this is the correct one and all the other remaining options are false so this is how you can actually do this problem by just looking at the road if you know the graph of the road you can actually do this without you don't need any formula or anything else right if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you